Doctors. Joining me now in studio is Dr. Natalie Hone, dermatologist with the Skin People, to talk about your change in skincare routines. And I first learned about this last winter when you asked me how I changed my skincare routine, and I said, I don't. And she gasped. <laughs> it was like, oh, why? Why would you not change? What's the importance in changing your skincare routine? Yes. So. Definitely, basically what happens is with the temperature, we get a big change and drop in the humidity and our skin really feels that as well as our hair, our nails, everything. Um, with When we're younger, I think our skin is able to manage that, but with mm -hmm. time, we kind of have to help it. So we want to change a little bit of our products. Okay, well that's a good way to put it. Yeah. What do you need to change in the fall? So biggest thing is you want to switch your uh, moisturizers to something that's a little bit thicker, something more like a barrier. Things that will say the word hyaluronic acid, things that will say the word cream instead of lotion are going to be really helpful. Okay. You um, have some examples here? Yes, absolutely. So what I like to do is first things first as a dermatologist, your sunscreen. You still have to use sunscreen in the fall. Really important. There's tons of sun, but there are some sunscreens that will say more hydrating. For example, this one will say hyaluronic acid and you can tell um, when you apply it, it'll feel a little bit um, just more moisturizing, which would be really helpful. Um, washes, one of the first steps in your regimen when you wash your face, you want to try to switch to washes that will say hydrating as well. That will help you maintain the moisture. So you even have to change how you wash your face, not just the moisturizer, the thickness in the moisturizer, but how, what you, the cleanser you use. Yes. And it's I also, know you know, listening to your skin, you might feel completely fine. Your skin might feel okay. But mm -hmm. if you feel, oh my gosh, my feels, my skin feels dry, cracked. That means you need to tweak some things. Mm -hmm. Honestly, one of the biggest things is not just the environment, but your home because we turn on the heater and that really dries up our home. Yeah. Um, so when you start feeling that, another great tip is to have a humidifier in your bedroom. That changes everything and really helps your skin become more moisturized. Yeah. And I mean, we're talking about face cleansers, but also body creams too. So this is the same yeah. for face and body. Just yes. this all goes the same. Yes, absolutely. Um, what you might notice is after your shower, your skin starts feeling itchy. People mm -hmm. will come to our office and say, I feel like my back and my legs are itchy and it's because of dryness. So um, getting used to using a moisturizer right after your shower on your legs legs, arms, back really helps. Are those the most common things that people complain about when the when the weather changes? So itchy skin, chap lips, we get that a lot. Oh, That's yeah. another thing I want to go over. So using ointments and lips uh, is really helpful. So having something in your um, backpack or on your purse at all times is helpful. Something like Vaseline, Aquaphor, that type of ointment will really help hydrate your lips. Now, is it true though, that if you use it too much, then your skin becomes dependent on it and you need to use it even more? It's not, it's not. It's not. You don't have That's to worry a myth. about that. It is, okay. it's a myth. Yes. Okay, well, how can people go about preventing chapped lips and itchy skin and things like that? So I would say a couple of things. Humidifier in your room, if you turn on the heater, would be really helpful. Okay. Showers, try to keep them short. Try to avoid hot water. That yeah. removes a lot of That's your really good oil. So sorry. <laughs> showers. It can be 100 duration. degrees outside and I'm <laughs> still taking a scalding hot shower. I know. I know. <laughs> try to limit that. But if you do, as soon as you get out of the shower, that's when you want to apply your moisturizer. Okay. It helps seal in all the moisture. And then try to change to a little bit of a thicker moisturizer at night. Um, Okay. Um, if, it, if you just do that little change, that'll help. And then for your lips, something like Vaseline or ointments on your lip, at least twice a day will help tons. Okay. What is this? We hear a lot about ceramides and, you know, the commercials say that word a lot, but what does that mean? What, so how would that help? This is part of our skin barrier. This is part of the oils that we produce. So as moisturizers have gotten better with time, they're really focusing on ingredients that are going to help maintain the adequate oils on your skin. So hyaluronic acid, ceramide rich type moisturizers, collagen type moisturizers. Yeah. These are things that are a little bit better quality um, that will help your skin stay more hydrated for longer. I mean, even Jergens and like cheaper brands have stuff with collagen in it. So that works? Yes. It it's can not just a marketing you. gimmick. No, no, it can absolutely help. It'll help like firm up your skin and make it look younger too? Well, it depends. Um, not truly just collagen, but things like retinols can also make it a little bit, um, improve the quality of skin and make it look somewhat younger. But again, retinols is another thing I would be careful about in the winter because it dries your skin. So some Good people point. that use retinol consistently might have to decrease their frequency. Can you use it in addition to a, with a thicker moisturizer? Absolutely. Yes, that's a great way to do it. So retinol and then on top, make sure you put a thick moisturizer. All right, Dr. Natalie Hone with the Skin People. Thank you so much. Always bringing good information and we should just talk to you every change in the season <laughs> for information like that. We're